Oliver Tambo also, as the voice of the ANC, was the person who kept the ANC together in exile. I don't know there's any other political group that did not fragment. But from 1960 till 1991, when Oliver Tambo came back, he held the ANC together. He was the acknowledged leader. Mandela was, but in a mythical kind of way, he was in prison. And the campaign for release of political prisoners was on his, we, the campaign was launched, but the ANC never had agreed to isolate one leader above others. So when we went back to headquarters and said, we need a face for the type of campaign you're talking about, and we suggest it was Nelson Mandela, because Nelson Mandela's speech, when he'd gone back to South Africa, he was then imprisoned or tried for leaving the country illegally. And his speech at the treason trial had gone around the world. And uh, his words, it had been broadcast all over in many, many countries. Uh, it was read from the pulpit of St. Paul's Cathedral, which would sound odd, but it was because here was somebody who was supposedly a terrorist. So that had been there. But we had to ask for permission. Now, the channel of communication with South Africa was Oliver Tambo. How he communicated was the internal machinery. But then again, um, there was a leadership on the island, Robben Island now. There was an ANC there, which was headed by Nelson Mandela. The external mission was headed by Oliver Tambo. And they went back to the island, got agreement that we could use the name of Nelson Mandela. In other words, draw him out as not just part of a collective. So then the international campaign was release all South African, Nelson Mandela and all political prisoners. This is, so the movement, Congress worked as one, though it was in different places and different groups doing different things. Oliver Tambo was the internationally recognized leader, liaising with governments, liaising for example, the first meeting we had, Mrs. Thatcher was with Oliver Tambo, because Mandela was in prison. And this was the way they worked. And because of their very close respect for each other, and because they'd worked together from the time they were students, and in the leadership of the ANC before it was banned. He was a very humane individual. <laughs> 